We are back, ladies and gents. Richmond is up next to the NASCAR Heat 5 2023 career. Are we leading the standings? Yes, we are. We are leading the points by two points over Denny Hamlin. We have two wins, two stage wins, so a total of 12 playoff points uh, total at the moment. Everyone else has one win. Look who stole a win last time out. Cole Custer was able to make it on fuel at mid-Ohio somehow. And he stole a win. This is going to be the first oval race with the new settings that we are trying. Uh, we are trying the four times wear and fuel. On NASCAR Heat 5, I usually always run three times. But this time we're doing four times wear and fuel, which in a 25% race, it shows. It says right there, 25% race with four times wear and fuel will result in the same number of pit stops as the full event, but can be completed much faster. So it is basically like a full event of pit stops and stuff. The also, another change we made is strict yellows, not relaxed, but with the strict yellows, we also have no mechanical failures. So even if you set it to infrequent, there were always two to three or maybe even four mechanical failures per race. I, frequent would be probably half the field. I kind of want to do a test on that where I just mess with these AI settings and see how crazy I can make it. But uh, those are the settings that we are using. Uh, and with Richmond being a 400 mile race, I would still assume that maybe in the first stage and stuff, because the thing is, you don't know what the stages are at the beginning of the race unless you have an incredible NASCAR memory in real life and you know those things. Um, but we don't we don't really know the stage length until you get to the stage. Uh, you know, like stage two, we don't know how long it is until we get to that point because uh, you don't really know. Uh, let's go into it. I want to give a shout out to all the Patreon members, as always, for supporting the channel you guys support means more than ever guys i'm being completely serious it means more than ever uh, at the moment so guys please 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 keep watching the live streams keep supporting watching the videos commenting liking and everything there hopefully you guys are having a good week uh and let's get into it uh i'm going to go ahead and run a little bit of practice laps because i'm just hoping that this car turns in the center of the corner the one thing we always have trouble with uh, when it comes to uh, this car so far is straight line speed. I am hoping that that will not be a problem at this track. It's a good lap, but it's not going to be anywhere near that goal time. Nowhere near it. 21.58. It is 24th position. He. <laughs> that's that's even worse than normal. All right. So not looking great. Um, hmm. What can I even do to the car? Oh, pain. Corey LaJoy crashed during qualifying and is driving a backup car. <laughs> It's just so random. All right, let's see what we could do, guys. I think Denny Hamlin's currently leading. Am I going to get up there? I don't know. We're going to be shifting in every single corner. What's the fuel? Fuel's 27 laps. Okay, what is the ta the stage? 16. So uh, that's interesting. Uh, a lot of fuel in the tank for this track. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me, please. Nope. Okay. All right, you know, you just stay there. Bottom lane. There we go. Downshift into four. We're going to have to downshift into fourth every single corner. Uh, that's just going to have to be how it is. Do I have damage on the front end? Yep. Eh, shouldn't be that much of a difference. It's fine. Yep, still losing time in the straights. Still losing time in the straights. Uh, uh, there's just nothing I can do about that. I just got to make it up. Just got to make it up. Listen, a five-star ride would be too, too easy. A four-star ride, a little bit too difficult. But I'd rather it be difficult than easy. I'm just going to slide up in front of Keselowski and then just try to block him. There we go, block, and then who's that? That is that Austin Dillon. That is Austin Dillon. All right. Oh, that's a terrible entry. Oh, my God. Oh, I deserve to be passed for that. I deserve I deserve to be executed off this racetrack for that entry of that corner. Good Lord. The car feels tight. The tires are going to tell me soon, but I feel like I can go make a pretty big adjustment on the right front tire because 94% already... Uh, the back end is not sliding around at all. I even changed the setup to go to the more loose side. But as you can see, 92, 91 compared to 97 on the right. The right rear is not activated. So we're going to have to go down on the wedge a little bit or up on the track bar. Maybe do some tire pressure adjustments as well. Probably drop the right front tire pressure a little bit. To get it to work, I'm kind of just stuck here. This is the same position we usually run in, around 15th to 20th. That's kind of where we always are, and that is kind of where we are right now. Excuse me, Kozlowski, please. 83-93 is really bad. That is a bad proportion for the right front to the right rear, and I can feel it. I can feel the right front just absolutely getting mauled right now. All right, now we're starting to make up time. Luckily, because the AI are kind of running up the track, and they're just giving me the bottom. So that's nice. Denny Hamlin is super fast. He's pulling away. He's already exiting turn two at the moment. So 
we are pretty far back from the leader and don't got that kind of pace. But we can maybe crack the top 10. Ow. Don't do that. I'm so stupid. Uh, if we could crack the top 10, maybe, that'd be helpful. I need to make adjustments, though. I need to make adjustments. This car is not loose at all. It needs the, the rear end needs to be sliding a little bit more. Our tire wear seems to be pretty good, though. We're coming to the end of the stage. And we're, not even, we're only about halfway through the fuel run. So halfway through the fuel run, and my car has really picked up the pace. That's a good sign for the final stage. Because look at this. We're up to 14th, and we're pulling away from the guys we were just racing. Now we have Truex. Oh, Chastain, Chastain, Chastain. Why you got to race realistically? I'm kidding. Chastain doesn't really race aggressively anymore. That's why he's been slow. Uh, <laughs> ever since that talk with Hendrick and Chevy, uh, they've nerfed my boy, Ross Chastain. They nerfed him. Very unfortunate. But uh, let's go. Final lap. Coming to the white flag of the stage. Let's see if we can get Austin Dillon to get to P12. And then we need a pit and make some adjustments. Not as many as I thought because I'm looking at this. 49.57 is, is not, I thought it was approaching like a 15% difference, but no. It's only about 8 to 10%. And at the end of this run, we are catching everyone in the top 10. I don't think we're catching the leader. No, we weren't catching Hamlin. We were still losing time to him. But we were catching everybody else. So that's a good stage uh, from 24th to 12th. Now we're going to pit. We're going to repair that damage. Uh, where's the right front tire? Right front. I'm going to drop that down to 29 uh, drop the right rear to 29.7. Uh, actually, let's go a little bit more. Let me go 27.75, and then a 28.25 on the wedge. We're gonna drop that down to a 49. Uh, it'll be stage two fuel estimate will be 40 laps. Okay, uh, we're gonna leave it at that. Okay, there we go. So that means 40 laps in stage two, right? We lose one spot to Austin Dillon. That's fine. It puts me on the inside line. So what? Stage two is 40 laps? Is that what they said? Is it? No, it's 37. Okay, 37 laps, 27 of fuel. So let's see if our adjustments have made a difference. We, we dropped the tire pressure, pressures by about 3 PSI, and we dropped the wedge by about half a round, a little bit more than half a round. If it makes the right call, the adjustments, then it'll work. We'll see. That was not a good entry. I'm going to struggle here at the beginning a little bit. Once the tires wear, we should get better, but I'm going to struggle just a little bit at the beginning. I'm going to back off of Larson and try and get back underneath them there we go car feels a little bit better i will say it feels a little bit better i just let's get a little bit of a more of a say i don't know why it's going up straight like that that's a little bit weird i don't know what's going on there nah, i think we got it guys i like it i like how this car is handling right now i'm just battling with larson a little bit too much he has straight line speed on me it's not fair i hate you hendrick motorsports uh, but 97, 97 on the right front and the car just feels a little bit better. And I feel like I'm not wearing the right front cause it's rotating more. So like the, I, you guys can't feel it, but I'm not turning on the analog stick as much as I was 95 on the right rear. Look at that right rear is activated a little bit more than the right front. That is exactly what we wanted. Good job. Crew chief. Great adjustments. All right. Now we just wait for the tire wear to kick in. Let's see how far we can get up to. I got Hendrick Motorsports all around me. I got three of them all over me. Let's get around Chase Elliott. Come on. Straight line speed. Please. Bowman, don't do it. Bowman, Bowman, Bowman. Block it. Slide up in front of Elliott. Oh, I'm a little bit loose. That was the first one I've gotten loose. 79. Yeah, car is good. All right, this is what we got, guys. I'm not making any more adjustments after this because this is perfect. Uh, now it's just about what kind of speed do we have. Can we keep up with that pack in front of us? Let's see. Let's just see. I'm going to push really hard. Our tires are not activated yet. They will kick in in like another five laps. Just give them a little bit of time. All right, we've caught them. Just leaning on Briscoe, trying to get to the top five. Come on. And I think we're catching the leader. I think we are. Hold on. I'm going to switch this to the leader gap. Let's look at the leader. 2.6. Let's keep an eye on this. Bubba Wallace has been running the bottom the whole time, so we're going to have to get around him. But this car is rotating in the center of the corner. All right, that was not a good corner, so that's 2.8. But I just want to see. We're William Byron was in the lead. We're catching William Byron. That's one, That's for sure. But are we catching Bl Ryan Blaney, who's in the lead? I don't know about that. Uh, I got to stop touching the apron. I got to stop touching the apron. Come on. Logano. Thank you. Just leave me to be. 58, 57 on the right front and the right rear. Perfect. Three seconds. But we're not losing a lot of time. We are not, this might, guys, we might be able to compete for a win here. I think we can compete for a win here. We just got to get our track position and then start the final stage as close to the leader as possible and then just keep up. 
We might be able to get a win. Logano has been pressuring the life out of me. Good lord. All right, but that's going to clear ah, that right rear. I'm like on the edge. I'm, I'm, but it's perfect. Like it's, it's just perfect. The right rear is sliding, but it's not sliding too much where it cost me. You can see it right there. It does slide. Uh, it's now 50-52. Logano is really bothering me. I have to change the angle of my corner just to block him. And it's really affecting me. That's that's a problem. I'm gonna have to. I'm either gonna have to let him go, or he needs to just stop dive bombing me. There we go. Maybe I could. I need to get that arc into the corner. I have to, or else I'm screwed. I'm leaning a little bit too much on the right rear now. A little bit too much. I'm starting to struggle. And Logano is still there. The car's wiggling. It's not. It's not. It's not comfy. It's not comfy anymore. It's mainly just Logano. Please leave me alone. Let me just run my own race. It's distracted. Oh, the, okay. Well, Chris or Bell just got around him. Problem is, Bell's running the bottom. He's probably going to come after me now. All right. It's fine. Keep shifting. Keep focusing. I'm struggling a little bit. I feel like we got to go up on the wedge like a click. Like point one. Just go up on the wedge just a tiny bit, and I think we will be okay. Because I just need the rear end to just be a little bit more in the track. Just a little. Not a lot. See, it's 39-36. And I can feel that 3% difference in the right rear just a little bit. Especially off the corners right there. Just sliding a little bit too much. But it's fine. I'm hoping Ryan Blaney gets stuck in lap traffic. He's caught the lap traffic. We are catching William Byron. And based off on when we're going to pit. Pit stops are going to start very soon. 13 laps remaining in stage 2. Leader is hitting pit road. Leader is hitting pit road. Is that true? It looks like he is. Is that Ryan Blaney? I can't tell. Yep, that's Blaney. Blaney is pitting. Blaney has pitted. Okay, so now William Byron's in the lead. Uh, and pit stops have started. We are going to stay out as long as we can just because uh, one, tire wear is not excessive. Like, we're still running pretty fast lap times. And two, uh, with strict yellows on, there could be a caution for just one spin or one mistake or one something. And the tires are wearing out pretty quickly, so got to be sure of that. Uh, pit road speed is what, like 45? I don't know. This pit road entry is going to be really difficult as well. Uh, this is going to be tough. Okay, lap traffic's all over the place. Everyone hang on. Everybody hang on. All right, I just want to see when. Okay, hello, Justin Haley. Hi. All right, so they're pitting early, so I, I can take my time entering pit lane. I'm guessing that initial yellow line is the marker because it looks like everyone's slowing down at that point it looks like that's when the line is William Byron is still staying out we are just following along 13 percent of the right retire there he goes he pits this time by oh my god oh that's what I mean by that's what I mean look at the chaos that's what I meant that's why I'm staying out I feel like there might be a caution or something good lord all right we have to pit this time by we got to pit this time by I'm just gonna follow these guys fourth third second was I speeding? No, I wasn't. Okay. All right. So here's what we're going to do. 49.1. The stage is about to end, and we're going to come back down for four tires and fuels anyways. Right sides. Right sides only with one can of fuel. I'm going for the stage win. I'm not. Uh, that's it. I'm only going for the stage win. We'll come back down pit road at the end of the stage. Uh, don't fix that. Actually, fix it. Fix it. Fine. It's, 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 it's actually one second. Who cares? Go, 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 go. This should put us in the lead. Come on, hurry up, guys. It's one lug. It's one lug. Let's get it out. Put it back in. All right, that's it. Let's, uh, get out of the way. Get out of the way. Get around the car faster, you bums. All right, there we go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Where is Blaney? I don't see him. All right. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. All right, so Ryan Blaney. I know my camera's blocking it, but Ryan Blaney's coming out of turn two. He, uh, he's coming out of turn two. So we have a... Uh, what's, what's the gap? 3.9 seconds with fresh right side tires. And the left side tires will survive the next seven laps. That is why I was watching. I was keeping an eye on those left side tires to make sure that I could do it. And we can. So right sides only. We're going for the stage win. That gets us another playoff point. Two tires feels good. I look, look I ran a 21.5. My best lap is a 21.4. So, yeah, two tires is good. So that's good to know for later in the race. If I need to take two tires, I could just take it. And I will be just as fast. <laughs> because look at this. 21, 21.67, I mean, it's like a tenth or two off, but I mean, damn, it feels good. 
I was not expecting this, but we are going to win stage two. Ryan Blaney is 3.7. He's getting stuck in lap traffic. Lap traffic is what's helping the most right now because uh, he cut it down to 2.8, but then he got stuck in lap traffic, went back up to 3.7. We win stage two. Holy crap. Let's go. Okay. I think that's our first actual stage win. Uh, so that is nice. All righty. Thank you very much. So, uh, okay, there we go. Ryan Blaney, Denny Hamlin, Logano. Okay, that's good. So now we come back down pit lane. How many laps you got? 44. We come back down pit lane. 75-75 on the right front and the right rear. So that is good. Uh, I kind of want to go one more click up, but I think I'm just going to leave it as is. Four tires, two cans of fuel. We should keep our track position. We do keep our track position. Joey Logano gets two spots. Ryan Blaney gets uh, goes down one. William Byron gains two. And we are going to compete for a victory, which is, again, not really what I was expecting today. But, hey, 41 laps is going to be very identical to, to Stage 2, just four more laps. So I can do the two-tire stop again. The two-tire stop again, even with an extra four laps, it should work. Now, we usually get cautions in the final stage. That's what's going to ruin all this. And to be fair, though, while I'm on fresh tires, I'm going to be able to block these guys. So we have to just activate. Wait, wait for the car to come in. This initial start is not going to be easy. We got to block. Just keep blocking. Drive it. Don't overdrive it, though. Just block, block, block. We're doing well. Come on. Let's go. Come on, Christopher Bell. Help me out. Help me out, Christopher Bell. Thank you. Holy clean air. 2144. That's my best lap of the race. And we are pulling away as they go three wide behind us. Okay. Wow. Great job, crew chief, with the adjustments. Great job. Holy crap. This thing feels amazing right now. Clean is this clean air actually, Matt. Look at this thing. It is flying. Holy damn. Crap. Is that Briscoe? No, that's oh, that's Ryan Priest. Okay, Ryan Priest randomly gets a run on me. And makes the pass. And we got to fall in right behind and just keep up with him. That's odd. I was not expecting Ryan Priest to be this quick. Why, why is he this fast? Damn it. Now Hamlin's got underneath us. Okay, I'm losing a little bit of time here. I need to do a better job of blocking. They're just running a really low line. I don't want to compromise my entry of the corner. But I feel like I have to. I can't let these guys go too far. Car is almost in, though. It's almost in. Come on, 34 laps remaining, so still probably another seven laps before I can really get going. Logano's been the one that has been bothering me all, basically all of stage two, and now here. It takes such a low line in a turn one, it's really freaking annoying. All right, these guys are just really fast. We gotta keep up. This is the fastest I can go. Tire wear is perfect. I just have to keep up until these things kick in, and then lap traffic. Lap traffic's gonna come into play as well, so... Just go as fast as we can just to hold on. Come on, keep holding on. Do not let them go. Maybe they can start battling. That would be very great. Thank you. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Block. Get Lugano off the track. Look at this entry. I have to completely compromise my entry just to block Lugano. This is what's pissing me off. Stop it, Lugano. Please. Oh, great. Here comes a dive bomb. Oh, my God. Lugano. I have to let him go. I have to let him go. I can't. I can't. I can't. Yeah. Denny Hamlin's going for the lead. Lap traffic is almost here. Come on, lap traffic. 25 laps to go. Just stay in touch. Remember, we were three and a half seconds behind Ryan Blaney for the majority of the last run. We are only 1.8 behind Denny Hamlin now for this run. Only problem is Logano's looking pretty quick, but as we keep an eye on the right sides, 47-47, we're running fast lap times. And mo more importantly, the left sides, guys. The left sides. Keep an eye on the left side tires. So remember, um, you can go 27 laps on a tank of fuel. We are past halfway marker on that. 65, 68 are the left side tires after about 17 laps of running. We have 23 laps remaining. Remember, we're trying to get those left side tires all the way through those 23 laps. So if they could stay above 50%, by the time we hit, for example, 17 to go, then we should be okay. Because I think we restarted with uh, 41 to go. And so now we're at 22. Actually, no, we're pretty good. Yeah, yeah we're almost basically at a halfway marker in the stage. So that's actually working in our favor. So the left side should be able to survive the entire length of the race from here on out. And that is important because we, we I'm going to take the, the right side tires only again because the right sides were fine. 
Like, they were okay. It's just the right, the right sides that wear completely. I need a little bit of help from lap traffic. Come on, lap traffic. Stop running up top. Run the bottom lane, you dum-dums. One main difference is I'm not catching Ryan Priest in second. Remember, I was catching William Byron pretty quickly. Well, I'm not catching Priest, and I'm also not catching Logano, and I got freaking lap cars in front of me. And we're two points out. I'm losing a little bit too much time. I'm Hill, are you serious? You're going to run the bottom now. Seriously. Seriously, dude. Get the hell out of the way, you bum. I only have two laps of fuel remaining. When are pit stops going to start? They haven't started yet. When are they going to pit? We got pit soon, guys. One lap. I'm going to go one more lap. I'm going to go one more lap. No one's really pitted yet. So I just need to go one more lap. I'm kind of confused on how they're going this far. Come on, let's go. Oh, uh, gap the leader three seconds. People are pitting. People are pitting. So, Stenhouse. Okay. Uh, what's going on here? It's going to be a little bit chaotic. Logano wants to come down pit lane. Ooh. Okay, there we go. We came down pit lane. We've got a lot of guys in front of us. Right sides only. Uh, with one can of fuel. 13 laps. Yeah. Okay. Let's see how this is going to go. Oh, boy. I'm a little bit scared. Now, don't, don't check me up. Don't check me up. We're good. There's Denny Hamlin. Bell's in front of us. All right. Is this the right call, guys? I don't know. Is this the right call? 43% on the left side tires. 8.1 estimated time. It's a little bit risky, but I'm going for the race win. I'm not, not going to win the race with four, four tires. You got to be kidding me. Dan, you got to be kidding me. You got to be kidding me. Suarez! Oh, my God. <laughs> God damn it, that cost me a little bit of time. All right, we're fine, we're fine. Get out of here, get out of here, get out of here, get out of here, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Oh, Daniel freaking Suarez, unbelievable. Oh, great, Ryan Blaney's only 1.5 seconds behind me. Fantastic. I don't know what happened to Denny Hamlin. Got no idea where he is, but Blaney's only 1.3 seconds behind. Thank you, Daniel Suarez, you absolute prick. Wait a minute, Priest is ahead? How is Priest ahead? Oh no, they took two tires as well. Did the AI take two tires as well? There's no way Ryan Priest should be ahead of me. Oh my goodness. I I have been, they, they actually did. They took two tires. That's incredible. That's actually incredible. I, how were they smart enough to do that? Great, I have four lap cars in between me and Ryan Priest. This is absolutely wonderful. Please get out of the way. Get out of the way. We're going to slide in there. I'm just trying not to lose time right now. Justin Haley, get out of the freaking way. Good God. You are in 40th place, you absolute slow bum. How many laps to go? How many laps? How many laps? Seven laps. Priest is 1.2 seconds ahead. Push. Push as hard as we can push. Come on. Lap cars, please run the bottom. Block him. Block him. Block him. They're not blocking him. They're just giving him the bottom lane. Fantastic. Fantastic. Thank you, lap cars. You're, you're doing absolutely nothing. Meanwhile, I have Brad Kozlowski running the bottom lane and putting me in dirty air. This is wonderful. Thank you, lap cars. Thank you. Thank you so much. I love you guys. You guys are absolutely the best, you absolute bunch of hacks. Oh, now you're going to run the bottom, Busher. Now you're going to run the freaking bottom, huh? Huh? Now you're going to run the bottom. Get these RFK pricks out of my way. What is this nonsense? Get out of my way. Go. You absolute pricks! You bunch of Ford hacks! Out of the way! They're protecting for their Ford teammate. That's what they're doing. Get out of my way. Go, go, go. Priest is getting held up. Go! 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 I swear to God, I'm. if I could, I'm wrecking both of you next race. No, no. And then the lap car got out of the way. Oh, of course. Of course. Fantastic. 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 Amazing. Amazing. To the two of you, Keselowski and Busher, pricks. Absolute pricks. Uh, we're not going to win. We are not going to win. I really thought I had this race won. I thought I had it won with the strategy, but nope. The AI did the strategy as well. They were smart enough, and we are just a sad 1.2 seconds behind Ryan Priest. Coming to the white flag lap, there is nothing I'm going to be able to do. While every single time I've caught lap cars, they've been too wide in front of me. While for Priest, oh, they just go right up to the top lane. Lap car, you know what? Lap cars are the bane of my existence. I'm getting really freaking sick of talking about lap cars in any video or live stream I do. You damn lap cars! Ah, oh, God, come on, man.
I want to win the freaking race. Oh, I put up a valiant effort, guys. I put up a valiant effort. Ryan Priest wins. Unfortunate. I gave it my best shot. Denny Hamlin gets uh, gets the points lead. I think from stage points. Stage one, I got zero, and he got uh, he got a lot of points there in stage one. So uh, we have uh, 13 playoff points now. So we got a playoff point. I'll take that. Um, we still have the most. That was Ryan Priest's first win of the season. So the wins are getting spread out over the course of the first seven races, which is good news for us because we don't have anyone who is, uh, you know, dominating with playoff points. So that is good. It's a successful day. It's a second straight second place finish, which is a little bit frustrating but to be fair we are maximizing what we have in this car i remember las vegas maximize that result the uh, mid ohio maximize that result uh now richmond i want i don't want to say maximized i feel like we could have won that race if i just if the lap cars just played a little bit of a different game there and i didn't catch them double wide the whole time and and instead they were double wide in front of busher then that would have worked bristol dirt I don't, I don't know what, what Bristol Dirt's going to be like. I don't know what kind of car we're going to have here. So hopefully it's a fast car and we win, but uh, I, I don't know. 62 laps around Bristol Dirt. That's going to be up next. Take care of yourselves. Enjoy the rest of your day. Uh, shout out Jimmy again. I like, I like these, uh, these settings. Strict yellows with uh, infrequent mechanical failures. I think I like it. So um, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. If you like these settings, take care of yourselves. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.